Our team playtested a couple different games, which were Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, and Batman, Arkham City Collector's Edition. We had to choose a game with a low Metacritic score and a high Metacritic score. Tomb Raider was our low Metacritic score with a score of 49, while Batman was our high Metacritic score of score 91. These games have quite a few similarities, with the main being their genre. Both are action-adventure games. They both have a great backstory built with a dark and intense environment. A similarity that is greatly seen amongst both games were their use of puzzles to solve and progress in each game. Between sliding across ledges, jumping, and adjusting objects to complete puzzles in Tomb Raider, or climbing buildings, crawling through sewers, and using gadgets like the Baggerang, or Grappling Hook to complete puzzles in Batman, both games have intricate and immersive puzzles helping the player further dive into the character's story. The game also have a few differences between them. The greatest was the difference of simplicity. Tomb Raider was much easier to figure out and did have less buttons and less intricacies with items to the physical disposal. Batman, on the other hand, had various options and choices of gadgets to use along with the combat style being much more elaborate including combos, counterattack, and special abilities along with using gadgets in the fights. Not only was the fighting more intense, but the puzzles were way more elaborate as well as giving the option of using a correct gadget on a specific obstacle, whereas in Tomb Raider, you just use whatever gadget was supposed to be used with the obstacle you came across as long as you had it in hand. In testing both games, we found many different bugs in Tomb Raider, but hands down, one of the most interesting things we came across was the falling soft lock, where the player falls through the level and continues to fall endlessly. I became startled and excited upon coming across this bug. Another surprising thing about Tomb Raider was the amount of actual game crashing bugs. We were surprised that the game had so many critical game crashing bugs to it, and along with that, it had a weird glitch of Aqua Eye showing up in the shadows of the game. As for Batman, the glitches were less critical and more entertaining or slightly obvious inconveniences. Most were clipping of items or people, except for one where Batman ended up jumping or sliding on the screen when zipping due to some kind of collision interference glitch or something. Seeing that bug for the first time made me express how flabbergasted I was upon coming across the bug in such an astute game. It just looked funny. We learned a lot in this class and we enjoyed playing these games, also trying to find the glitches. I got very excited when finding glitches, and I believe the others did too as we were testing together. But it was a great class. Thank you.